get yourself ready to go. Uh, we will bow in. As always, please make sure that you have enough space to move around and that it's going to be safe for you to kick and punch. We won't do too much moving because most of us are kind of confined into a small area. Um, but uh, make sure, especially, that you kind of check the surface that you're standing on as well so that you feel the, the traction because often surfaces are very different than what we expect and don't want anybody to uh, slip, fall, or do anything crazy. So beware of furniture, beware of flooring, and let's be careful out there, okay? All right, let's sit down, please. Aye, right, face, shoulder, and bow. Pose. Aye, mock so. Yame. Aye, kaicho, nire. Us. Nidaime, nire. Us. Aye, come here, please. Us. Senpai, nire. Us. Otogai, nire. Us. Hey, did that stand? Hey, right, very good. Okay, get nice and loose. Move around a little bit. And good. Hold your belt, please. Let's wiggle the toes. Hey, each, ni, san, shi, go, rook, shi, hach, kyu, ju, your right side, please. Ich, ni, san, shi, go, and reverse. Ich, ni, san, shi, go, and shake. Hey, good. Left side, please. Hey, each, ni, san, shi, go, and other way. Ich, ni, san, shi, go, and shake. Good feet together, hold the knees please, and circle, ichi, ni, san, shi, go, and reverse direction, ichi, ni, san, shi, go. Good, and step apart, let's bend the knees please, ichi, ni, san, shi, go, roku, shichi. Hachi, Q, Ju. I good. And wider, please. And starting to your left side, please. I Ichi. Ni. San. And other side. Ichi. Ni. San. And again, please. Ichi. Ni. San. Ai. Ichi. Ni. San. And all the way down, please. Good. And reaching up and stretching down to the extended leg. Ichi. Ni. San. Shi. Go. Roku. Shichi. Hachi. Kyu. Ju. I come up and twist over, please. Ich, ni, san, shi, go, ruk, shi, hach, kyu, ju. And change opposite side. And reaching down, right? Ich, ni, san, shi, go, ruk, shi, hach, kyu, ju. And up and twist over, please. Ich, ni, san, shi, go, ruk, shi, hach, kyu, ju. And good, spread the feet. Good. And starting to your left side, please. Ich, ni, san, shi, go, ruk, shi, hach, kyu, ju. And twist, please. And starting to your right side now. Ich, Ni, san, shi, go, ruk, shi, hach, kyu, ju. And twist once more. A little bit wider if you can. And to the center, please. Ich, ni, san, shi, go, ruk, shi, hach, kyu, 
Shoot. Eight, good, and slowly coming back. Good, eight, bring the feet together, please. Hold your toes, and let's rock each. Me, san, shi, go, rook, shi, hach, kyu, ju. Very good, hold the ankles and press down. Good, and shake the knees, please, listen up. Hey, good, and feet apart, let's stand. Hey, kibodachi. Hey, a little side to side or up and down. And standing tall, please, hands behind, and walking the feet together, please. Ichi. Ni. San. Shi. Go. Ruk. Shi. Hach. You, toes touching, you, feet together, very good, and on your toes reach, hey. and touch the floor, each, me, san, shi, go, look, shi, touch, you, you, hold the ankles please, bring your head close, and good, bend the knees, roll up nice and slow, and good. Stepping out, shoulder width please, hands on your belt, and head up and down now. Ichi. Ni. San. Shi. Go. Rook. Shi. Hach. Kyu. Ju. Side to side please. Ich. Ni. San. Shi. Go. Rook. Shi. Hach. Kyu. Ju. And circle the head, please. Each. Ni. San. Shi. Go. And reverse direction, please. Each. Ni. San. Shi. Go. And loosen up the shoulders. Ay, hands together, please. Gasho. Ay, ichi. Ni. San. And fingertips, please. And shake, relax. Now, Re. I go facial men bow, please. Us. All right, one bow for us all, please. Us, very good. I right, make sure, double check your space. Yoy. I right, starting off from Eiko Dachi, please. Parallel stance, straight elbows, both fists out front, please. And pull your right hand back to your chest. All right, nice and easy. Chudan Zuki, color belts, please. Also add Kota Yuke after your punch. Ready? Ichi. Nice and slow. Ni. San. Shi. Go. Rook. Shit. Hatch. Kip. Ju. Hey. Good. So now much faster and kiai enough to scare your neighbors. Just a little. All right, ready? Ichi. Hit. Ni. Hit. Sun. Hit. Shi. Hit. Go. Seiken Ago Zuki, please. So make sure hands nice and high, elbows, shoulders a little bit relaxed, elbows a little bit down is fine, but make sure those palms are facing your ear. We're each going to do right side and left side, just warming up, please. Ichi. <clears throat> Ni. Really reach out. San. 
Turn, strike the chin. She. And once more, ki Go. Hit. Right, good. Elbows in. Uraken, shomen, uji. Really reach out. Remember, not just this way, but reaching up and over. Really imagine hitting the bridge of the nose as you extend and strike. Right, ichi. Right and left. Ni. San. Shi. Go. Hey. Good. I elbows up. Uraken sayu uchi. Same extension. Side to side. Really let that wrist snap. Still imagine the bridge of the nose. Ichi. Ni. San. Shi. Go. Kiai. Hi. Last one for now. Uraken Furiuchi, right hand on top of left hand, snap the wrist and come back underneath. I ichi. Ni. San. Shi. Go. Hit. I go. So everyone start again. Seiken Agozuki. So for um, Manny and Nick, two times Seiken Agozuki, then please two times Shuto Gammen Uchi. Everybody else, please. Two times Seiken Agozuki, two times Shutogamen Uchi, and one time Haito Morote Morote Nukite. Everyone goes nice and slowly. Ichi. One, two, then around. Three, four, then seniors add and finish. Good. Then reset. Ni. One, two, three, four, and seniors come. Five. Good. Reset again. Sun, just a little bit faster. And good reset. She. And last one strong. Yeah, go. Hey. Good. Bring those elbows in. This time, everyone, Uraken Shomenuchi two times. Everyone also, please follow Shuto Sakotsu Uchi two times. And again, senior group, Haito Morote Morote Nukite to finish, please. I, everyone, elbows in front. Ichi. Then up and over, striking down. And senior group, finish here. And reset. Ni. One, two. Up and over, and strike. Nice tight knife hand, and around. Good. Elbows in. San. And good. Again. She. And one more time. Go. Hey. Are you good? Last set. So we're going to combine Uraken Sayu Uchi and Uraken Furi Uchi. And Manny and Nick, I want you to finish with two times Nukite to the Jodan. Okay, so Sayu Uchi two times, Furi Uchi two times, then Jodan Nukite strike. All right, senior group, please. Uraken Sayu Uchi, but this time start with your left hand. So left side first, Uraken Furi Uchi, left side first also. Then please, Uraken Mawashi Uchi two times, also your left hand starts. Okay, everyone's up here at Uraken Sayu Uchi. Ichi. One. Two, three, four, and senior group add Urakamosh. Good. And elbows up again. Knee. Of course, senior group, you're starting with your left hand. Very good again. Aight, san. Good here. She. Good. And one last time, the big hi. Go. Hey. Very good. And nare. Good. Shake. Loosen up those arms. Loosen up those legs. Speaking of loosening up those legs, let's get them moving just a little bit, please. So on each count, everybody, all color belts, white belts, everyone together, we're all going to work on a little uchi mawashi on both legs. So white belts, you don't really need to know this as part of your curriculum, but it's a nice easy kick to try to get the hips loosened up, start to moving uh, everything in kind of a circular motion here. So what you're going to do is basically just swing you like, kind of like you would think of with a maikiage. So keeping your leg nice and long, try to make this motion come from the hip, 
And you're going to swoop to the inside on one side, then swoop to the inside on the other side. So nice, easy. Um, even if you are uh, experienced with this kick, just try to keep it low. We're just using it as a warm up just to loosen up the hips a little bit. So hands are up. I, everybody's going to start with your right leg, please. But we're going to do right side and left side on the same count. Here we go. Ichi, nice and easy. And nice and easy. Good. Knee. Really let it swing from the hip. San. Keep it low. Shi. Go. Roku. Shichi. Achi. Kyu. Chu. Shake the legs out a little bit. Loosen up the hips, loosen up the knees. Shake a little bit. We're gonna do the opposite direction. So we're gonna use uh, seniors, you know this as sotomawashi, but actually instead of doing the full extended kick, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna lift the knee and come in. So it's almost like you're doing hizagiri, but you're not reaching up. You're just bringing the knee around this way. So as you pick up the knee, just like you would with a hizagiri, point the toes. And think of it almost like you're doing a chudan soto uke, except you're doing it with your knee. It's kind of coming from the outside. And again, we're going to keep these low and low intensity because we're just trying to warm up the legs and the hips a little bit, okay? Right side and left side, this outside knee motion. Hai ichi. One and two. Knee. Those toes pointed down. San. Shi. Go. Roku. Shichi. Hachi. Kyu. Chu. Hey. There you go. Again, shake them out, loosen up a little bit. Keep everything moving well. Good, so now we're gonna do five counts, but here's what we're gonna do. We're only gonna do one side at a time. We're gonna do that low uchimawashi, and then come back with the same leg with that outside knee cover, okay? So one count is nice low uchimawashi, then come back with that outside knee. So again, keep it low, keep it low intensity. Really work on your balance and feeling some good energy in your hips but don't spend too much energy. Just think of this as loosening up, warming up, okay? Starting with your right side, ujimawashi, then outside knee cover. Ichi. One, out, good. Other side now, knee. One, two, good. San. One, two, chi. Good, we're gonna do one more set on each side. Go. And last one, Roku. Hey! Good, and step in, Nare. Very nice, and shake it out, please. I can't see you do your push-ups, but I trust you that you're gonna pick a good push-up position. All right, let's go down to the floor. And, uh, I mean, there's no video evidence on your end, but Nick is the only one who can use his knees. Everybody else try to use your toes. Uh, and let's, let's just start with Seiken. I hope you've been working on your Seiken. All right, so first two knuckles. Remember, keep a nice straight line. It doesn't matter if you're on your knees or on your toes. You want that nice straight line coming from the shoulder centered over your wrist. None of this leaning back. That's starting to injure the shoulder and it takes the muscle load into the wrong place. So you really want to focus on keeping yourself over your wrists and nice straight line from your shoulder on down. So whether you are doing on your knees or on your toes, doesn't really matter. Keep a nice straight line, okay? So say again, we're only gonna do five to start with. I want you to really focus on keeping your elbows in and keeping a nice, strong, smooth, slow motion, okay? Here we go, just nice five good ones. Hey, Ichi. Ni. San. Shi. Go. Good. And sit back. Relax a 
relax those shoulders a little bit, a couple circles. And the other way. Loosen up, breathe. Good, so now we're going to do 10 more push-ups. And you may select any hand position that you would like. So probably for a Thursday, I would say pick a nice medium challenge. So it's not your most difficult push-up position, but it's definitely not your easiest. So we have lots to choose from. We got Seiken, we got Shuto, we got Shote, fingertips, senior belts, you can do Koken, you can do inside of first knuckle, you can do Haito, you can do just a couple of fingers, do all sorts of things. I don't know if I have any black belts here. Uraken. Oh, Allison. Yes. Good. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Whatever you'd like, medium sized challenge, whatever push up position you would like. Okay. All right. So here we go together. Ready? Ichi. Ni. San. Shi. Go. Roku. Shichi. Achi, Q, Ju, yeah, good, and all the way down, relax, shake the hands, shake the arms, and turn over into crunch position, make sure you have enough space that you are not going to, again, kick into anything, we want to keep our pets safe, furniture safe, any crunch position that you would like, now remember, when we crunch, not too much, support the head and the neck, Come up in a nice straight line. I like to think of looking at a spot on the ceiling and bringing my head straight up towards the ceiling. Really focus the effort in the lower abs, especially try to keep things nice and tight and moving in a nice linear fashion up and down. Here we go. Ichi, ni, san, shi, go, roku, shichi, hachi, ku, ju. Juich, Jini, Jusan, Jishi, Jugo, Juruk, Jishich, Juhach, Juku, Niju, Ai, and down. Good, and relax. Stretch things out a little bit. Very good. You can stay down and stretch a little bit if you'd like. I'm going to take a look and see how many people we ended up with, seven of us. Okay, we have a little bit of time for that. I'd like to leave the last few minutes for um, any specific questions that you might want to ask about something. I obviously don't, uh, we don't have time uh, tonight to answer lots of things in detail, and one-way video is probably not the best way to do that, but uh, for the last five minutes or so, if you have something that, that you would like to ask about, and we can sort of collectively put our input in that and, and uh, help somebody out. So if you have a technique you have a question about or a combination you have a question about, so be thinking of that. Okay? But in the meantime, we'll keep going. Yoi! I go double check your space now. Your right leg is going to slide back into Zen Kutsudachi. At the same time, both of your hands coming down. Kakiwaki Okay. Cross first, slide back. I come my day. Yeah. There you go. Hands are up. So nice, easy maigiri front snap kick. So make sure to point the knee, snap it out, and return to that nice wide stance. Again, be careful of your traction. Be careful of your environment. Keep those hands up nice and easy, please. Ichi. Ni. San. Shi. Go. Yeah. Yeah. Right, the mawate change. Again, settle into a nice wide stance. Good balance for your body size. Get your hands up, and here we go. Same way, my getting ichi. Ni. San. Shi. And kiai, please. Go. Here. Yeah. Good. And mawate change, please. Good, so we're going to keep that maigiri, but we're going to add on. So this time on each count, we're going to do maigiri one time after we settle back into a good strong stance and only after we settle back into a good strong stance. We're going to match the front leg. We're going to do a jodan the uge, one face block, then two times shote, okay? Nice and easy. So we're really working on 
making sure we have that strong stance before we execute the hand technique. Don't be in a hurry and have it halfway done before you land, okay? Make sure you come all the way back, prepare and block quickly. Here we go. Ichi. Now block and two times shote. That's it. Now remember shote, nice tight fingers, no space in between any of the fingers, no thumbs taking a hitchhike someplace. Try to pull those fingers a little bit back, but try not to squish them up, right? You want to make sure they stay nice and flat, but emphasize the edge of the palm. Here we go. Knee. And block the face. Then one, two, striking that chin. And reset. Sun. Shi. And once more, and kia. Go. Here. Yeah. Mawa, they change to the opposite side. Same way, nice and easy. Left side kicks now. Ichi. And right side blocks. And two times shote. Knee. Sun. That's it. Shi. Good. And once more, Kiai. Go. Here. Yeah. Mawate. Change to the opposite side. So we're going to add on to that. So we're going to keep the maigiri. We're going to keep the jodan uke. We're going to keep the two times shote. Then what we're going to do is with the chamber hand now, gedan barai and gedan barai on the other side. Okay? So the whole thing, one snap kick, one face block, two shote. Make sure you start with your chambered hand. So this hand that's out drops all the way down to cover. Cross this way, get on barai. Then other side, get on barai. So you should end up same leg and same hand when you finish. Okay? Nice and easy. Here we go. Ichi. One. Step back. One block. Two shote. Start with the chambered hand. Block and block. That's it. Knee. And block the face. Strike here. Cross. One and two. Good. Sun. Two times strike, cross down and down. Good. Here we go. She. And, and. Excellent. And last one, Kiai. Go. Hey. I mawate. Change to the opposite side, please. Here we go. Nice and easy to start. We'll speed up as we go. Remember that stance. Remember that balance. Really sink into those hips. Ready? Ichi. One, block the face. One, two, start with the chamber hand. One, two. Again, same leg and same hand here, right? And let's go again. Knee. One, block the face. Two strikes. And one, two. Good. All right, sun. She. Good. And last one. Strong Kiai. Go. Hey. I right, step forward, please. Now ready. Good. And relax. Shake all that, please. That's good. Oi. Okay, I have to do a space check. Does everyone have room to do yokogeri to your side? Make sure you check both sides. No furniture, no candlesticks, no pets, no small children. Be very careful. So we're not gonna be turning and kicking to the front. We're just gonna be kicking out to the side, okay? Good, yoi. So from Ekodachi, please. Actually, no. From Kibadachi. Let's get to Kibadachi first. Your right leg is going to step in, then out, coming down into Kakiwaki Uke, standing nice, strong Kibadachi. All right, come on, take. Yeah. Good. Keep yourself nice and balanced. Drop those hips. Make it wide enough, but comfortable enough that you can actually feel settled. 
like you are on the horse, right? Be careful of how you tip the hips, you know, leaning back and not leaning too far forward. Try to drop in, really engage the muscles around the hip cage, right? So here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna look over your right shoulder to start. We're gonna shift the weight over to the left leg. So we're gonna pick up, we're gonna kick to the side and step back down. Once we step back down, chudan uchi uke, one time. Then Nick and Manny, I want you to add two punches to the middle. Everybody else, after one time uchi uke, two times uchi uke get on barai. Okay, here we go. Let's all start, we're gonna do right leg, Keep the hands up, look to your right, make sure it's all clear, shift the weight, here we go. Ichi, shift, yoko geri, come back in, step out, opposite side, left hand, chudan uchi uke, white belts two punches, everybody else, two times uchi uke get right. Now we're gonna go to your opposite side, look over your left shoulder, lean this way, shift the weight to the right side, knee, here, in, out, now right hand under, Uchi Uke, then senior group, here, white belts, two punches. Opposite side again, look this way first, sun. Here, opposite hand blocks, then one and two. Good, hands up, look this way, make sure it's all clear, shift the weight, sheet. Here, opposite hand, one and one, two, good. Here we go. Go. Look. Roku. Opposite hand. Shichi. Hachi. Last one. Chip. Hey! And your right foot returns, please. Nare. Good. And relax. Shake everything out. Uh, good. Everybody nice and warm now? Excellent. So all of you who had all those things that were on your mind, this is a great time. If you get a moment to step up to your device and type in your question, and we can all answer them together. We've got a little less than 10 minutes left. I wanna make sure we give time for people to ask. Let's see what we have. Oh, I'm enjoying dog push-ups. Yes, everyone a, has a great uh, assortment of pet workouts that go along with class as well. Much more fun with four-legged companions. Everybody stay nice and loose and warm, because if there are no questions coming in, I have much more for you to do, no problem. Lori, that's a really good question. The question is, why does the right foot return after we kicked last with the left foot? And the answer is, does anybody know the answer? I should make someone else answer. <laughs> Allison, I have a special talent for that. Lori, the answer to your question is, when we began that sequence, we stepped out with our right foot. So that's the one that actually went out and brought us out of center. So anytime you are standing in center, when we, we do right sanchin dachi, we do a whole bunch of things, we usually end up with the right foot coming back because that's what took us out of our center position. So same thing, when we're moving out into kiba dachi, we start, we're nice and centered in our stance, and we move out this way. If we pull back our left foot, when we nare, we'd be in a different place. So we always pull back the foot that originally got us out into the drill. So it's a little bit different when we're kind of standing in place doing a drill than it is when we've been moving forward and backwards and uh, turning around different directions. <laughs> yeah. 
You're welcome. Let's see. Moving in stances. Manny, what do you mean by moving in stances? Just kind of getting the balance, getting the slide, keeping the distance? Because we all have lots of, um, lots of things we need to adjust for based on our own, um, our own balance, our own center of gravity. So when you're moving, the best advice that I can give you is whenever we're sliding one foot forward or backwards, you really want to make sure first that you release the heel, right? So it's exactly like when we are in meditation class, we're doing keen walking meditation. We don't try to drag the whole foot on the floor. So you always keep the heel up and try to glide with the ball of the foot. So that makes it a little bit easier. The second thing that makes it easier to move in stance is to make sure that both of your knees are bent. So even if we're in Zen Kutsudachi, when we're standing in Zen Kutsudachi, we want that back leg to be nice and locked out, really. But when we move, we start sliding forward, we need to bend that knee to kind of help us redistribute the weight uh, a little bit better. It allows us to move. It also allows us to move without going up and down like we sometimes do. So keeping it bent will allow us to keep more, more stable, uh, same elevation as we move. But it also helps remind you, if you pick up the heel, it's almost impossible not to bend your knee. So it's, they, it's kind of a two for one special that really helps you transfer the weight and glide a little bit more easily on the floor. Okay, I hope that's helpful. Did that sort of answer your question, Manny? I hope so. Anybody else? Okay, well, we have a few more minutes left, so I would like to go over a couple of basic self-defenses. That's what I would like to do. Maybe that'll generate some more questions at the end of class. So, what we're going to do, we're not going to worry so much about number one, number two, number three, number four, that sort of thing. What I want to work on is this fundamental idea of the sliding away and timing your block. So it actually kind of incorporates a lot of the things that we were just talking about. So making sure that when you slide, you're sliding your foot, keeping yourself in balance. And um, always, you know, Kaicho talks about keeping both feet on the floor. So we're not stepping and then plopping because we just don't know what we may be stepping into, what kind of terrain we're going to be landing on. So what we want to do is stay nice and easy, slide on the floor again, bend the knees, drop the weight, slide away from whatever attack is facing us. So what I would like everybody to do um, Nick and Manny, you're going to stick with me, and we're going to work just on sliding back and using the outside block, Shunan Soto Uge. We're going to work on the timing and everything that goes with that. Senior people, what I'd like for you to do is pick one of your self-defenses. Um, any, any basic um, uh, senior people, you can pick intermediate if you'd like. But what I want you to do is simply work on the very first move, whichever it is that you're doing. So almost all of them involve sliding away from your opponent in one way or the other. And the important part, remember we talk about that's the best defense, is not to be there. And then the block is really kind of the insurance policy. Just in case I didn't get far enough away, I don't want to leave myself open. I want to try to make sure that I get whatever was coming at me out of the way. So we're not going to worry about the follow through. We're just all going to work on the very first move of whichever self-defense you have in your mind. So senior is the only one that would be a little different is if you were doing intermediate number one and you're working on going forward, but still that's a timing issue and that's what I really want you to focus on, okay? So everybody, keep that in mind. Manny and Nick, you can stick with me. We're gonna start with the right leg going back and shoot on soto uke. So nice and easy, I want everybody to go nice and slowly, but I want you to try to imagine you're trying to sync up when your block and your stance come together at the same time, okay? So nice and slowly, sliding back and block, and go. And nare, step forward and return. We're gonna do this a few times, and what I want you to do is feel it. None of us can get it perfect every single repetition. There's no way it happens. We really need to be in touch with the body and just get that feeling over and over again of, of that timing coming together, okay? So prepare and slide and execute, then come back, okay? Again, prepare and slide and execute and back, okay? Again, a little faster, go. Cool. 
10. Good work. Good. Again. Right. And right. Good. Once more on this side. Right. And now right. So hopefully that feels like it's coming together a little bit more. Let's change to the other side. So uh, color belts, if you could find in your mind a self-defense that starts on the opposite side of your body, okay? So different block. I know they start to mix up hands and feet, but just do something on the opposite side of what you just did. So either one that calls for the other foot back or one that calls for the other block or both. And Manny and Nick, you're going to stick with me. We're just going to do left leg behind and right outside block. And again, work on that timing, okay? Ready? First one slow. Height. And now right, forward, good. And again, right. And now right, good. Now, don't cheat and do like here, and then there, okay? Try to make everything, the setup, everything kind of goes together in one motion, okay? Here we go again, right. Now right, a couple more times, a little faster. All right. And once more. Hey. <clears throat> now ready. Good. And relax yourself. Shake it out, please. Good. So that's a really important concept, no matter which uh, self-defense you're doing. And really, we work on this in kata seniors. We work on this in things like kihon kumite, yakso kumite unifying those body movements, right? You want to use your energy efficiently and wisely, and you want to generate as much strength and speed as you possibly can, given the parameters of your stature, your strength, everything. So you want to use all of your energy very wisely and make everything come together. So that first move of sliding and a self-defense can really set you up for a lot of success in the remaining part of the self-defense. Uh, a lot of times we see, of course, in number one, everybody's in such a hurry to get to the fun part that they don't really slide back and get that stance first. So remember, I'm sure I say this more than I could even imagine I say, if you don't do the first part, you won't be around to do the fun stuff that comes next, okay? So make sure you're really working on that timing and spacing of your stance, okay? Wonderful. Okay, it's uh, about 7.15, so I guess it's time for us to wrap this up. So shake one last time here, good, and you wait, good, all right, let's face shoulder and bow, Us. all right, good, let's sit down, please, good, all right, Moxo. Os. Otogai ni re. Os. 